Hello and welcome to Design Education Talks, the collaboration between New Art School and Design the Ducks podcast. Our guest today is Yewin An. Welcome, Yewin. Hello, great to see you. Thank you for your invitation. I'm very excited about the interview today. Well, it's fantastic to have you here. We've been waiting for a long time to have yes. this. <laughs> yeah. So tell us about you and your work. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm Yo Hyun An. I'm a, a graphic design educator and researcher that I teach at the University of Wisconsin Medicine as an assistant professor of graphic design and interaction design. Uh, I started learning calligraphy at five years old. And I studied computer science uh, at a bachelor degree, and I changed my major uh, to graphic design. So I have two MFAs, uh, one bachelor degree in computer science, and two MFA degrees in multimedia design and graphic design in South Korea and America. Because of my academic journey, that my graphic design integrate art design, calligraphy, technology, and journalism to pursue uh, extended graphic design research and education. Fantastic. This, this is very interesting. So how did you get into teaching? That's a very interesting question. That uh, It's a little long story that um, my father was a professor in civil engineering in South Korea. According to my observation, when I grew up, my father was born to be a professor. He was a workaholic. My mom always requested me to call my father's office around 11 p.m. and persuade him, Daddy, it is time to come back home. <laughs> 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 so when I grew up, I already knew that being a professor is a highly dedicated job uh, with a lifetime devotion. So, uh, being a professor was my mom's dream uh, when I grew up, that she injected her dream to my dream. <laughs> but uh, it became my dream later that I changed my major from computer science to graphic design because I found an academic area that I love falling in love through my life. Mm -hmm. Because uh, from my childhood dream, being a calligrapher, then studying computer science, what would be the middle between calligraphy and computer science? It ended it up with graphic design. And even I started teaching when I was not ready uh, because uh, uh, when I, right after I have an MFA degree uh, in multimedia design in South Korea, I was a professional web designer and developer. I have a diverse range of uh, professional experience from graphic design, web design, and web development, including virtual reality because of the pandemic, virtual reality became easy to inject into the graphic design education in my program at UWM. That's great. Thank you for, anyway, the, uh, uh, that part, uh, part's ability that, yeah, so I think it became very natural, natural that if I started teaching at a part-time in South Korea, in America, they wanted to hire me as a full-time. So I started from part it happened in South Korea, in America, both that when I was started teaching at part time, I became immediately, immediately became full time and tenure track. Also, when I started teaching in uh, America, one year part time, then they became full time, then tenure track from teaching institution to the research institution at UW Medicine. It became more natural that once when I was really chilling that I really, really hope to just uh, quit my teaching, but it didn't happen. But now I accept my destiny as a graphic design professor. That's the story. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So you've been doing a lot of exhibitions. Uh, what are you working on now for your projects? 
Yeah, so I have uh, two projects going on. One is a type plus code series that I initiated uh, as a graduate student of graphic design at Melinda Institute of College of Art. Then uh, that is my ongoing uh, project. Also, I presented my project at Alicante Design Forum and Valencia Art and Design Forum last year. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Amazing. Yeah, so they, because uh, again, it's uh, like a reinterpretation of calligraphy to computational typography. That is, uh, has been extended to the research paper presentation, solo exhibition. So I had a solo exhibition, type plus code series uh, this spring. Also uh, another project, social homelessness for uh, US, uh, social homelessness on US campuses to portray marginal people on US campuses, including ma minority faculty and student. That it has, uh, it's a multidisciplinary art and design research project. It has uh, generative selfie series, Corella projection, social gathering, public participation with a mobile application. I hope someday I can present this project through the, yeah, the next uh, art and design yeah. forum in Spain. Yeah, so that, Type plus code series had several branches. Also, social homelessness project has been branches to solo exhibition, uh, and also international, uh, like uh, recognized art gallery, like a SIGGRAPH art gallery. Uh, last uh, December, it held virtually. That uh, yeah, so I'm really like a multidisciplinary, cross-disciplinary, transdisciplinary graphic design educators that. Uh, I don't limit a uh, uh, medium on the specific like a print centric, but it's more extendable, extended cross disciplinary research. Yes, that mm. I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So, so how do you imagine uh, your your work uh, influencing your teaching? So, because you are you're doing all these fantastic things in your work and research. Could could you dream of a new way of teaching according to what according to your work? Yes, I do. For instance, I proposed and taught a course typography and code at School of Art Institute of Chicago. Also, I proposed creative coding for graphic design at the University of uh, Wisconsin Medicine. So I have been injecting my typographic uh, and multidisciplinary art and design project into graphic design education, particularly social homelessness on US campus project has been embedded into my user experience for graphic design course at UW Medicine that my course uh, teach, we have a multidisciplinary class project, social homelessness at UW Medicine. That, that project focus on people who feel, who might feel isolated and marginal at UW Medicine. So my students start from user interview and define problems, ideation, prototyping yeah. and user test that I use the design thinking process that yeah. according to uh, John Maida, John Maida was the president of Rhode Island School of Design that according to him, graphic design area had two it's around the three groups like uh, oh, classical graphic design, design thinking and computational graphic design. So I try to uh, embed design thinking and computational graphic design into the traditional graphic design education. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So are you also thinking of changing the way you teach? That's a great question, yes. Uh, I had a great two 
graduate directors in South Korea and America. The, my first graduate, my first graduate director in South Korea, Pyong Won Wo, he studied a graphic design in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So he was a few uh, graphic design professors in South Korea who was influenced by modern graphic design. Then also I have a great graduate director, Ellen Nupton. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Micah, that I was inspired by both modern graphic design in, influenced by powerhouse and American rooted idea-based graphic design. That I hope that is my contribution that when I joined this institution, it has a great modern graphic design program. So I try to create more inclusive or learning opportunity for future graphic designers right. who would be more flexible about the medium and also the practice, non-European centric graphic design practice and education, putting diversity into graphic design practice and education that I introduce my student future possibilities. That's, that's very interesting, that's very interesting. So how can, how can our viewers and listeners find you? Yes, uh, if you if put, uh, they Google my name, Yo Hyun An, they can find my website, my interviews, also my website, www.yohyunan.com, also typeandcode.com, also socialhomelessness.com, that they can fantastic. find. Fantastic, yes. fantastic. Uh, what is the advice you'd like to leave us with? Anything Anything you'd like to add? Uh, yes, that's a great uh, question that uh, I'm not creating new. No, I always try to make academic bridges from the past to the future. Mm -hmm. That uh, I want to share that also uh, my graphic design program, we have a graphic design major and many minors right. from computer science, business, communication, journalism. I always encourage my student how you can contribute your experience outside of the academic area into graphic design education and community that will make your future possibilities as a designer. That's so amazing. That, that's that brilliant. Brilliant. Yes. Well, uh, anything else you'd like to add? No, it was such a great opportunity for me to uh, talk about my uh, teaching and researching philosophy through this podcast that thank you so much for oh, your thank invitation. you thank you it's been a great uh, it's been fantastic having you here with your unique approach to to to, to graphics thank you so much Yun. thank you so much have a fantastic day thank you thank All you for best. your invitation All yes best, you too thank you